All right, my name is uh, Peter Meinke. I'm from the company Tigra, located in uh, Copenhagen, Denmark. And uh, we are specialized in uh, EM tools for specially refractor antenna analysis. And I have uh, two important messages in, in this uh, beautiful uh, poster. And the first applies to all engineers uh, that have tried to design something, uh, do a theoretical prediction with some EM simulation tool, and then do a measurement, and then those two do not really compare. And then you start fighting who did the measurement wrong, who did the simulation wrong, what is, what is actually wrong with this. Important issue is that maybe both are correct. Maybe the measurement is correct, maybe also the theory is correct, and the simulation. But what you need to take into account is that all uh, designs and all manu manufacturing has to do with tolerances. Uh, so it is so that, that whatever you do something on the workshop, there are mechanical tolerances to everything you do. So it means that the thing that you measure, for instance, the antenna or the microwave circuit, uh, is basically just a stochastical sample out of many possible samples. So the thing you, work, you, you do on the uh, workshop and, and measure uh, that could have some output, and then two hours later, you ask the very same workshop to do the exact same thing, and due to the tolerances, you will measure something different. And if you do take into account in your simulation uh, that there are tolerances, and you know the uh, exact what the statistical properties of the tolerances are, you can take that into account in a simulation. You need to do that. It's very important in the design process. The second important issue in this still beautiful poster is that what most people are doing when they're going to do this kind of investigation is the Monte Carlo analysis, where you simply do a lot of random samples. Uh, you take a lot of different distributions of your input variables through, through the uh, simulation tool, uh, and then you do stochastical analysis, trying to get the moments on the output. It turns out that this Monte Carlo analysis is very, very slowly convergent so you can wait forever for a result. Other people do so-called sensitivity analysis. This is simply just the derivatives at the nominal values, so there are many things, for instance, correlated variables that you do not take into account in this technique. So what we propose in our uh, newest version of our Tico tool software is a so-called higher order quantification uh, analysis, where you, uh, uncertainty quantification analysis where we, in a more accurate way, can calculate the desired moments. So we have an input, some EM solver. Uh, this is, of course, our own solver in this case. And then the output variable that you want the moments for. And then basically, if you want the, the average value or the standard deviation, you just take the straightforward multidimensional integration that you can read in every textbook. And then you simply do that integration. And of course, the trick is, how do you do that? but you can do a multi-dimensional uh, integration to get that result very accurately in very few uh, iterations. Therefore, you get fast convergence, much better than the slow convergence that you see in the Monte Carlo analysis. And, and we have tried it for a, uh, a horn setting on a CubeSat illuminating a refractor ray. And in this case, we can see that uh, we can use this analysis to determine what should the tolerances be uh, in order for, for instance, the scattering parameters to be within a certain range here, plus minus one dB. And we can use the simulation tool, the uncertainty qualification analysis, uh, to get to the result that you need uh, 20 uh, micron tolerances for all the input parameters, then you get the satis uh, satisfactory result. This is my message.